Hello guys, welcome back, No One here. And today we're going to be doing a nice little roundabout of our last stab at ranked ladder for one season. So we're going to continue with the Hunter Highlander. Kind of keeping things here from the modifier work, and we're going to need a Dino Tamer Dora. But so far, my deck's kind of functioning functioning without it. Which makes it pretty lethal, in my opinion. It's probably one of the better decks I've built. So, I haven't really had any many tech matches against Shaman. Bestial Wrath, Snipe, Hunter's Pack, but no creatures. Normally, I would keep a hand because it's perfect for my first three rounds. That's when you set up your uh, board state or set up your defenses or elimination. So, normally I would keep this, but there's no creature. So, bing, bang, okay. This we can work with. So, we're going to drop Spring Paw. Spring Paw is going to give us a 1 1 Lynx. Pass the turn. Enolix, huh? There we go. He will get the Heart of Vernal. Your battle, your battle cries trigger twice this turn. Corrupt the water. Play six battle cry cards. Okay. So we're gonna take this opportunity to drop down Headhunter's Hatchet. So we're gonna get three points of damage in this turn. Thankfully, he had to use his mana to drop Corrupt the Waters. But I'd imagine his deck is full of cheap battle cries. I can't think of any right off the top of my head, but I'm sure there's a ton of them. There you go. Sludge Slurper. Adding Lackey to your hand. Overload one. So that limits what you can do next round. Unless he's got a second in his hand. Okay. Titanic Lackey. Not bad. I now have three mana. And I need... To deal with that tank. Uh, let's hope I hit it. Yeah. Okay, swing here. Swing here. Oh, thank you. Deadly shot. Problem one averted. Okay, so in my hand, I still have Call of the Wild. Great for late game. Why it shows the Wyvern, though? Because you don't really get a Wyvern. Good question, though. Uh, baited Arrow. Great for dropping a 5 5 Devil Sword. Misdirection. And Lynx. Okay, that is three out of the six. Is that an ability? Okay, so he has to trigger that ability. So you have to pay two for it to go off. It's not a passive one. So we're going to drop Lynx. Misdirection. Kill that off. Swing him. We're trying to keep his board state as empty as humanly possible. But if he keeps playing little 1-1s one and whatnot, firing off baited arrow shouldn't be too hard. There we go. At the end of your turn, add a lackey to your hand. Okay. Not bad. Thankfully, though, we've got the board all set up with uh, misdirection. Okay. Killing that, no. Okay, he gets a random lackey. My turn. We're actually going to kill that off because I don't want it doing anything. You know. There we go. Okay. I don't want its ability to stick around too long. We now have two Call of the Wild. Which will help for late game because I can just boom summon, boom summon. And fill my board up with some of the strongest hunter uh, creatures in the game. In my opinion, anyways, just because their synergy is so well developed. I mean, they're great. Each card is great on their own, but they're nowhere near as powerful as they would be together. So, getting them all together is awesome. And, yep, I'm going to run into that. That's going to weaken him enough for my baited arrow. Unless he's got another battle cry. He shouldn't have another Titanic Lackey. At least I wouldn't think he would. 
Okay. Up. Oh, dropping a coin. Puts him to three out of five. Okay. Well, Bog Slasher's out. Corrupt the Waters is done. Which means if he wants to pop that ability, he's going to pay two each time. And I'm going to drop Sylvanas. Just in case he decides to play a, say, stronger creature. Just for the giggles. At least then I can take it from him. I probably should have cracked Baited Arrow when I had the chance, but it's still a three damage spell. I mean, would I like to use it for its full effect and get the 5-5 five five Devil Sword? Definitely. But I digress. At least on my next turn, I'll also be able to drop Explosive Trap, which will help weaken everything even further. And I'm still holding the life total. Okay, his creature's gone. He's going to Heart of Vernal. Okay. It's effect triggers twice. I get it. Thank you. Eh. Okay, so we're actually going to save the mana from that. We're going to drop Zephyrus the Great. See what he spits out. And... Ooh, yeah. We're going to take Tyrion. We're going to Baited Arrow that. Since it went Neg 1, I get my Devil Sore, pass the turn. I now have a 3-2 and Devil Sore. So not bad, and it's going to be a little harder for him to deal with. Okay, if you control Aki, throw, deal five or 3 damage, I should say. Oh, you don't control Aki, so... he. And I have enough to drop him, so in comes Tyrion! And we're going to swing here, we're going to swing here, pass the turn. And the best part is when he dies, I get a 5-3 Ashbringer. So it'll have 5 damage and 3 durability, so good for 3 swings. Which exactly is what it's going to take to kill him. Oh, not anymore though. Okay, life totals are equal, nice. Transform a minion into something one costs one more. Okay, thankfully its ability won't kick. My divine shield's still holding. Thank you. And I don't think he can cast hex for that low. Nope. Transform. Really? Chef Nomi? I didn't even know he was in this game. If your deck is empty, summon six 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 grease fire elementals. There you go. Ooh. I do have Bestial Wrath. Actually, we're going to wait. We're going to drop this. Summon the first set. And everyone's just going to go to town. And that's game. And there you go. And thank you, Tyrion. All right. Back up to three star. Okay, let's go for another round. So far, based on Hunter Shaman versus, it wasn't too bad. I mean, there were a couple close calls with the Shaman. I find, though, that Highlander decks do, like, iffy against each other. But if it's a really well-built deck as far as, like, synergy, then they'll just trample me because I don't have multiple copies of cards to deal with bigger threats or continuous threats. So, that being said, we're actually going to keep this. And since I get my coin one turn earlier, I'm going to drop Untamed Beastmaster, which in my, per which in my purview is just a version of Brawn. Okay, Acorn Bearer. Add two squirrels to your hand when you die. Nice. Um, I guess we're going to pass the turn. Because I have nothing to play for turn one. I mean, I do, but there's nothing to target. The main thing I worry about with this beat, or with a Druid deck, is they can get big creatures really fast. So, we're actually going to drop misdirection 
and pass the turn. And maybe we can force these two to run into each other. I hope. And, yep, misdirection is going to trigger. Please don't come at me. Yes, go right to the no. Dang it. Eh, it was worth a shot. Now I'm going to take three to the face. I was kind of hoping to get those two to suicide, but eh. But I digress. Okay, so he really doesn't need any squirrels. Okay, I'm going to take four to the face. Eh, that would help. Let's see. And we're going to, well, we know we're going to drop the coin. I'm going to Hunting Mastiff. I'm going to, again, Hunting Mastiff. Swing. Sure. Take your two 1-1 one -one squirrels. Now, my next move is hopefully to drop Untamed Beastmaster. Or either that or drop Snipe, just in case he starts playing something a little bit bigger. Let's see. Okay, Power of the Wild shits out another 3-2 Panther. And the 1-1 Squirrel. And the 1-1 Squirrel. Okay. Next is going to be... Mm, yeah, Snipe. Headhunter's Hatchet. We're just going to take the three and kill that. Pass the turn. I mean, yeah, I took three points of damage, but at least with my secret still in play, maybe I can trigger Hyena Alpha. As long as he doesn't summon anything that... But at the same time, if he summons something, hopefully my uh, snipe will kill it. Okay, so he's testing the waters to see what trap I played. That's two of his mana. Oh, this is going to hurt. Since he already swung with that one, I'm taking a whopping ten to the face. Okay, so I can trigger this. And I don't need to take any more damage. So, we're going to plus him. That's dead. We're going to kill that off, so I can't take any more damage from that one. Pass the turn. Now, if he does summon something, Snipe will take care of it for me. Please, not a 1-1 one -one squirrel. Okay, 5 damage. And 2 damage. Okay, so that clears the board. And thankfully, that took pretty much all of his mana. Now, let's see. I need... Okay, so he's going to drop squirrel. Snipe's going to go off. And draw. That'll work. In comes Sylvanas. She's a 5-5. Five, five. Death Rattle, I take control of a minion, so this will work. Let's see here. We have Untamed Beastmaster, Bestial Wrath, Kill Command. These are all great cards, but no beasts. And this is probably going to kill me. And ding dong. Okay, so druids, if they go the uh, acorn bearer, yeah, they can overrun me hard. But then again, it also depends if they get to their stuff be faster than I do. So let's do another round, see if we can get that gem back. Which would be awesome. Okay. So with all this being said. 
I'd like to just give a shout out and say if anyone likes the content I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button below, along with the notification bell to stay, to stay current <laughs> on the pro or yeah blah, blah, blah. to stay current on the content I'm providing. Okay, we're gonna get rid of. Uh, actually, yeah, we're gonna keep this. And if you like this video, hit the like button below. Give me a shout out in the comments on what you would like to see next, or if there's a certain deck or strategy you would like to see covered. I'll do my best to get that covered for you. And one of my next upcoming videos, I'll even give you a shout out for it. Okay, so we're going to drop Shimmerfly. Shimmerfly. That is awesome to say. Okay. So we're versing the Killers 18. Ooh. I'm also going to, one of my next videos is going to be a compilation video of every video I've done this month. And I'm going to figure out how to get it all to play like at X, X times the speed. Just kind of like a type of thing. Oh, okay. So we're going to drop misdirection to protect me. Swing for one. On my next turn, we're going to drop animal companion. Maybe even beef it up with the beast within. And ever since I've started using this and my other card, the two are freaking awesome. Spend all your mana, destroy that minion. Okay, hope the two mana was worth it. Okay, actually we're going to drop... Yeah, we're going to drop Animal Companion. That'll work. Yeah, I've never thought about using these guys just because I only have one The Beast Within. But since I've been using it in like a Highlander deck... It's perfect for it because they're one ofs, and their abilities are well worth their rank. You know, they're epic cards, and they kick total ass. Okay, so we've got that. And I don't really want to spend the mana to bop it, but what the hell? Blow it up. And swing. I'm going to save this card because it's my favorite card. It's like the uh, fight mechanic from Magic the Gathering. Give a friendly beast plus one, plus one. Then it attacks a random enemy minion. So it's the fight mechanic. Now, should he get past this, which I'm sure he's going to eventually draw into a shadow word kill spell here. Okay, Archmage Vargoth. At the end of your turn, cast the spell you've cast this turn. And we're going to drop Zephyr. I still have three mana, so hopefully what he gives me will work. And actually, yeah, we're going to do Brightwing. So we'll drop Brightwing. Brightwing's going to shit out a legendary form. Archmage Antonidas. Okay, so you've got Archmage Vargoth. I got Antonidas. And every time I cast a spell, he'll give me a fireball, which is going to be freaking awesome. Unfortunately, though, he's the only beast I have is Misha, so I can only use the beast within on him. And I'd really like to get him out before I start shelling out the snipes. But then again, at the same time, probably should have had snipe out before he came out. Yep, you're going to have to go that way, dude. Okay, so there it is, Beast Deal Wrath. So we're going to give him this. And since he's immune, we're going to pump this. Okay, he's going to go after that one. He's going to kill that one. I'm going to drop Snipe. I'm going to do this. And there you go. Both of his minions killed. Same minion. That is the epic power of the combo Beast Within and Bestial Wrath. Bestial Wrath for the plus two attack and immune. Beast Within for the plus one, plus one, and fight mechanic. Whoop, whoop. And yeah, go ahead and kill it. It did its job. It got me to this point where I'm still at 30. You're at 13. All works out. And if he does drop a minion, it's going to get toasted. Okay, so that was Shadow Word Death and Shadow Word Pain. And we're going to drop Archmage Antonidas. Swing for three, pass the turn. That'll give him a new target to focus on, and I bet he's wishing he had kept Shadow Word Death at this point. Okay, that's going to trigger. Snipe's going to go off. 
I only really need him around for, say, a couple turns tops. Just to give me a couple of fireballs to hit him with. Plus, I'm going to need to kill that off real quick. So, let's see. We're going to do this a little differently. So, we're going to drop Snipe. Snipe's going to give me my fireball. We're going to mark shot, kill him, get a fireball, and discover a spell. And we're going to take Hunter's Mark, because that's going to come up eventually. And actually, we're going to use that now. I now have three fireballs in hand. And he now has five health. I have 30 health. And it's going to be pretty difficult at this point for him to turn the game around. Trust me, I've tried. Okay, you bested me. He's gone. Yep. Novice Engineer is... That's my rank. I get 10 coins. And there we go. All in all, so we went... Two, for th two out of three. Not bad in the grand scheme of things. And I'd say that deck is actually pretty relevant. And I'm imagining it'll be relevant for quite some time. Especially with the new support coming out in Descent of the Dragons. So, let's go to Custom Hunter one more time. Because coming up this next month, there will be the drop of the new set. I have three packs to open for that set, so I'll be doing that as soon as they're available. Let's take a look at this Highlander deck real quick. We have one Bestial Wrath, one Secret Plan Golden, Shimmerfly, Spring Paw, Beast Within, a Golden Timberwolf, one Golden Explosive Trap. I'm hoping to eventually Golden this whole deck out just for shits and giggles. Freezing Trap, Headhunter's Hatchet, Hunting Mastiff, Misdirection, Pressure Plate, Scavenging Hyena, Snipe. Zephyrus the Great. Now that's going to be a hard one to golden out. Uh, Animal Companion. Deadly Shot. Hunter's Pack. Kill Command. Golden Snip Snap. Uh, Tink Master Overspark. Untamed Beastmaster. Dire Frenzy. Hyena Alpha. Marked Shot. Uh, Replicating Menace. He goes in combo with Snip Snap. Because they both, when they die, summon. He summons two on one Microbots. And he summons three. Uh, Baited Arrow, Sylvanas, which I don't know how much longer they're going to let her use her. Unleash the Beast, and same for Call of the Wild. These are two cards they brought back for that Wild event. So it kind of depends on how much longer they're going to let us use her and him. And that, guys, is where I'm going to leave you. Now, mind you, my next video will be more of a compilation video covering everything I've done this month. All in like, I'm going to try and get it down to like a 15-minute, you know, high speed video recap and if you guys like the pro or like the content I'm loading to this channel please hit the subscribe button below support the channel hit the like video on the like on the video leave me a shout out in the comments below of what you would like to see in like future videos certain deck styles you'd like to see um, certain content you would like to see from Hearthstone also hit the notification bell so you can stay live and current with everything I upload. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next upload.